Welcome to the Aperture Science Competence Center for our most gifted employees. I'm Cave Johnson, and if you're hearing this, you are exceptional. No, don't be bashful. It's true. No false modesty. Let's get started. Look at all those tubes stretching off in the distance. Every one of them's taking something important to a genius who's going to use it to change the world forever. A genius just like you. How are you going to change the world? Well, that's up to you. History will remember what you do here today. Do not let us, and by us I mean all of us, all of humanity, down. So congratulations. You are about to take part in the greatest science adventure at the greatest applied sciences company on Earth. This is important work, and you are just the genius to do it. God gave you these gifts. I'm giving you the opportunity to use them. Well, here's your lab. I don't mind telling you, we're excited up here. Moon landing excited. Newton, Einstein. Wait a minute. That's, now you. that's not right. I think I put the wrong tape in. Hold on. Good luck, world's best science. OK, here we go. You, in the overalls. Get to work, or you're fired. They don't give out overalls anymore. Anyway, my name's Grady. You can call me that. I mean, let's do introductions later. You should really already be... <sighs> Honestly, I'm surprised you're not fired already. Anyway, uh, you are a uh, ba -ba -ba product inspector. That is your inspection desk there in front of you. You will be inspecting... Uh, okay, uh, doesn't say. Anyway, something... It's gonna come down the conveyor belt, whatever it is. Make sure it works. Once you've done that, keep doing that. That's the whole job. Anyway, just remember, the important thing is to have fun on your own time before you come in. Otherwise, it's just, I don't know, it's, it's real bad here. It's fine. You'll probably be fine. Good luck. Damn it. I knew it. I, I left the volume down. Hold yeah, on. Zip zap zap. That is how you inspect a toilet. I hope you were paying attention because I'm not saying any of that twice. Look, it's not rocket science. It's not even toilet science. Here's everything you need to know. See that light on the wall? If that light goes on, you're fired. <sighs> okay, good. You heard the important part. Wait, wait. Hold on. Have they all been smoking? You know what? It's not our job to test if the toilet's on fire, right? Just do your regular thing like normal. Move it down the line, and then it's somebody else's problem. You think your job's bad? I mean, your job is bad. Do you hear that? Hold on, I'll, let me take a look. Yeah, keep testing it. I oh. Can you get me out of here, please? Thank you. Nope, I'm just wet now. No, 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 no. That's just pushing me deeper in. Are you, what is your plan? Is your plan just push me? <sighs> okay, okay, look, I get it. It is funny, it's hilarious. But it's also definitely not that one. Just another, it's working, keep doing that. Just test it! Get it out of here! So, first off, I I think we're in a lot of trouble here. 
Now, I also think we're going to be rich because I think he just admitted something. Okay, here's what we are going to do. I'm going to go work on this in secret. Just you go back and pretend to go back to work, right? Like it's got to look good. I mean, just pretend the most you've ever, you know what? Just go back to work, actually. Yeah, that works. I'll be back. You did awesome pretending to calibrate all those toilets. The best. All right, are you ready for this? Presenting. Presenting the Aperture Science Turret. Go on, take it for a spin. The controls are right there on your desk. I mean, right, the controls are right there. Go ahead and just, yeah, there you go. Just ease into it, no pressure. I mean, right, the controls are right there. Yeah, and I haven't even showed you the best part. Here's the best part. Shooting! You know what, though? I mean, you're definitely going to kill yourself with it pointing at you like that, so let me just turn it around. All right, shoot again. Don't worry, it's safe. I mean, this time. This time it's safe. Last time it wasn't. You almost died. Wow! Holy moly, man. That is great! Oh, man, the turret broke. That was the only one, too. But don't even worry about it, because here's what I've actually been working on. Ta-da! Introducing the Mark II. This is what I spent most of the six months on. It was one month for the first turret, and then like five for this bad boy. Oh man, you gotta take my picture with this. Uh, the desk should have a camera built into it. Are you taking the picture? Okay, good. Moment recorded for all the history books. Now for the fun part. You are gonna take it for a spin. Here, let me turn it around. Okay, normally I'd walk you through everything, but I think you get it. Let's just open everything at once and see what happens. Okay, go crazy. All those controls do something. Oh, also, some of the crates you're shooting at might explode. Don't worry about that. Wow, right? Ah, oh, this is great. This thing shoots so good. Okay, a part fell off. Keep going, though. All right, something else fell off. You can still shoot everything else. Don't even worry about it. Okay, quite a bit is falling off. Keep shooting. You're not doing this. This is a structural engineering problem. It's on me. You're doing great. I bet it's a glue. I'm 99% convinced that. It even looked cheap when I bought it. I remember looking at it like, ah, spend the extra dollar. And yep, here we are. stuff I put on there just didn't work most of it like 90% or even higher maybe but some of it worked great so all we have to do is keep the great stuff and then we then we can so okay that's the police so one of us needs to streamline this turret right and one of us needs to take the fall for shooting up the warehouse because they're 
This is a lot of damage, and they're going to look into this. Which job? Which job do you want? How about I fix a turret, and then you take? Yeah, I'll do that part. Remember, if anyone asks, you don't know me. Okay? Don't say anything. Hey, well, I mean, wow, you are the best. Thanks for keeping your mouth shut and doing your time. I mean, it was way more time than either of us were expecting. I don't know what was in those boxes we blew up, but they were, wow, were they mad. Anyway, I promise you're not going to regret this. Now let's get you out of here. Given that the offender has faithfully observed the rules of the institution, Offender has been granted supervised early release. Please sign for your possessions. Inmates' possessions are as follows. Desk, one. Inmate must state their name, print their name, then sign their name. After the tone, state your name into the desk. As a condition of supervised early release, parolee and desk agree to report within 15 days. Hey, don't listen to her. You don't need to worry about reporting to your parole officer. Guess who spent the last 18 months getting his probation agent license through the mail? Yep, me. That's right. I'm your parole officer. I mean, not just you. I'm managing like seven guys on parole right now. But... They're basically reintegrated back into society. Well, not Tony. He's struggling a little, but anyway, that's all I was doing. I got something to show you. Let's get out of here. It is never too late to met. You are both free to go. Oh, uh, bring your desk. Okay. I streamlined the turret while you were gone, introducing the Mark III. Ta-da! So I got rid of all the parts that fell off and just kept the stuff that worked. I mean, it was totally over-engineered, so it just does one thing now, it shoots. It didn't need a satellite dish, that was just dumb. Here, try it on these appliances I found. They were just lying around in the housewares research department in a locked room. It's just like the Mark I. Left trigger opens the wings, right stick to aim, right trigger to shoot. I like that tattoo on your neck. Did you do it yourself? It's like a, is it a dragon holding a knife? It's nice. The more I look at the tattoo, the more I'm thinking we should both have it. Because then we'd be tattoo bros. Anybody would be able to look at us and know we are friends. You think you'd give me the same tattoo? Would that be weird? It would be weird to have the same exact one. All right, I'll, I'll think of one. What about like a robot arm coming out of the side of my head and it's holding a wrench? So you've got the dragon and the knife, and mine's similar, but more robot themed. Man, that'd be so cool. Oh, speaking of being cool, I've got something even better to show you. Gyroscopic controls. It's real easy, just pick up the desk, Tilt it around to aim, and keep that thumb on the right thumbstick. And you shoot with the right trigger like normal. Go on, try it. It's real easy. 
Just pick up the desk, tilt it around to aim, and keep that thumb on the right thumbstick. And you shoot with the right trigger. Like, how much did the tattoo hurt? You gave it to yourself. Did you have the proper tools? I would bet not actually. I don't think about it. You probably had to heat up a pin with a lighter or something. That sounds, I mean, that sounds pretty awesome. Another tattoo idea I just had, instead of a robot hand coming out holding a wrench, what if it was like a skeleton hand? You know, so you're looking at it like, what's he trying to say? Is he human on the inside, or does he have like a skeleton trapped in him? You know what? Skeleton arm tattoo. I decided that's the one I want. So when we get a free minute, I'll find a pen and we'll eat it for life. Alright, everything checks out. This thing is perfect. I think we're good to go here. So, I was saving the best for last, but while you were in jail, I got us a meeting to show our turret to Cave Johnson. That's right, the owner of the company. No pressure, but if he likes this, he's gonna make us rich forever. Are you ready? Let's go. What are you gonna do with your share of the money? I know what I'm gonna do is pay off the money I borrowed to make this turret. Like immediately pay it off. Or I'll, I mean, whew, I'll be in some real trouble. Plus the VIG, I'll have to pay that too. <sighs> Does it make sense to you that the VIG is more than what I borrowed in the first place? It doesn't seem like it, that's weird. Somebody overrode the controls. Hold on. Huh, that's one of the appliances I stole from housewares. Oh jeez, it's got a gun! It's an ambush! Man, he got that turret good, huh? Good thing I brought a couple spares. I knew it! It's the housewares department! I was getting cut down about it. I can't believe it. They stole our idea, and now they're gonna kill us with it. Housewares, man. They're never gonna stop ambushing me. I mean, it's not really an ambush anymore. We know they're coming, but I don't think they're gonna stop coming though. We need to think of something else. I really think they're gonna keep coming for like, basically forever. Let me get you a new turret. I didn't bring a ton of those though. That might be my last one, maybe two more. Nice work. I got the elevator working again. We have another 80 floors before we get to cave. We're not gonna survive 80 ambushes in a row. Your desk should have some buttons on the underside of it. Those fire the rockets that got built into the desk. They put those on there standard now for safety reasons. So, if you hit all four buttons at once, it should rocket us up through all 80 levels real fast and then up through the floor of Cave's office. Automatic death launch sequencer engaged. Here we go. We are going to launch in 10. 
10, 9, 8, 7. Modesty panel set to flight configuration. 3, 2, 1. We have liftoff. Okay, really nice work. Good shooting. I think we're good from here. They probably gave up. I have given up by now. <sighs> okay, let's go show this thing to Cave. Also, I do have one quick confession. I didn't actually get an appointment with Cave Johnson. I lied about that. But it turns out, I didn't know this, it turns out nobody's seen him in years. I did know it when I lied to you about our appointment, but it was still pretty new information. Anyway, I'm not gonna lie to you anymore. <sighs> I think he might be a millionaire recluse now. So, be ready for that. There might be a lot of jars. Hello, Mr. Johnson? Let's just go in. Mr. Johnson? Are you here? Hey there. It's me, Cave Johnson. No, no, not behind the giant head. I am the giant head. I'm gonna level with you. A few years back, I got real sick. Body riddled with disease. I was a goner. Threw every dollar I had at it. Told those eggheads, hey, eggheads, make me live forever. Now, I know what you're thinking. You gave the smartest engineers on Earth a blank check to make you immortal, and this is what they came up with? A giant head? <laughs> Off by a mile. No. They figured out how to put... Hey, hey, hey! I can't talk over the sound of you shooting me. Do you want me to tell you why I'm a giant head or not? Right. Where was I? Giant head, riddled with disease, eggheads, immortality. Ah, now I remember. They figured out how to put my consciousness in a computer. That's what's in the giant head. Their first plan was to put me in a regular brain-sized computer. Then they'd put that in a robot body and, hey, presto. Well, turns out you can't fit an entire human mind in a computer that small. All I could do was tell time and know what my name was. So they kept making it bigger. Big enough to cram every last bit of me into this thing. What happened to my robot body? Still under the head, somewhere all crushed up. Couldn't support the weight. So the lab boys put me in the big head, switched me on, and, uh, I don't know, I panicked. Killed a few of them. Said I'd kill more if they ever came back. Honestly, I, I regret that now. Anyway, that was four years ago. Been trying to get somebody's attention ever since. Get their butts up here and end my suffering. Now, don't worry about me. It's been a full life, but we're done here. I'm itching for the next step. Heck, I'm excited about it. Don't even think of it as killing me. You're breaking me out of prison. I'm just data now. I need you to crack this big clay head open so I can spill out into the universe. So, what do you two eggheads got? Uh, you, uh, you are in luck. We actually came up here to show you our new invention. Good stuff. Let's see it. Show them, partner. Whoa! That'll work. To be honest, I thought you were two lunatics who dragged a toilet up here. But you are geniuses. He called us geniuses. Oh no. What? You were made of metal, sir. So shoot the metal. Is it working? In the head, I can't see. It's working great, sir. It doesn't fit. Hey, you see that? I think that's his power source. Up, oh, here we go. Powering down. The great beyond. Boy, I'll, I'll give you two credit. That is one hell of an invention. You did it. You figured out how to end my suffering. 
All right. Suffering ended in three, two. Ah. Backup power activated. Ugh. You're both fired. I'm gonna need your key cards. Just lay them down in front of the head. Not too close to the chin, or I won't be able to see them. Uh oh. You know what? It just occurred to me that the only person who knows Cade Johnson asked us to kill him is now dead. Yeah. Do you know what the punishment for murder is? They told us in parole officer school, you're not gonna like this. Uh, it's life, your whole life in prison. We should, yeah, we, we, we should leave. Don't touch anything, and bring the desk. Morning, Charlie. It's me, Gary. Gary, your boss. Keep inspecting those toilets. Good work, good stuff. Good, hey. It's just me, Grady. Yeah, just like yesterday. Man, this witness protection program is great. I don't know why we didn't turn state's evidence against those loan sharks in the first place. We don't have to pay any of the money back. We got cool new names. I like yours a lot, by the way. You know, come to think of it, you'd think they'd move us to another state or give us new jobs or something. Feels like everything is exactly the same except our first names. Ah, you know what? They know what they're doing. Anyway, see you tomorrow, Charlie.